Hi there, so in the video today what I'm going to show you is the method that I use for transferring files between my HTC Sensation and uh, my Windows 7 PC over a normal wireless home network. Um, this is of course not limited to the Sensation or Windows 7 for that matter, but for the purpose of the video that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, what we're going to do is set up a basic FTP server on the phone, which sounds more complicated than it actually is. There's nothing more than a couple of boxes to fill in and you're done. Uh, what we'll then do is integrate it with Windows Explorer directly so that uh, the experience is actually fairly similar to when you connect your phone with a USB cable. It saves you having to use a web-based interface for transferring files um, or one of the other options which involves using a file manager on the phone itself. Alright, so let's get started and what we're looking for is an app called Wireless File Transfer. There are a few apps by that name though, so what we're going to do is search for the app that it's based on, which is SwiftTP. SWIFTP. The original SwiftTP app uh, or FTP server went out of development or appears to have gone out of development uh, a year or two ago now. Um, this modified version by the developer Modcha, I hope I've got that right, um, is virtually identical but it does provide you with um, a home screen widget which you can tap on to enable or disable the server immediately. It's much, uh, much quicker and more convenient. Um, so we'll install that. It's a tiny little file, it's only about 160k I think. And once that's installed we can open it straight up. Now I've moved the camera around because it wasn't focusing very well on the black screen but uh, when you first open the app this is what you're faced with, a basic uh, configuration screen. We're going to need to fill in all the blanks so starting with the username field I'm just going to enter in there Bugsy and I'll put the same in the password field as well. The port number has been set already to 2121. You could change that, but uh, I'm not going to bother for the time being. Uh, in the next field where it says stay within folder, this is where you specify which folder your PC will have access to. Um, and we want to limit it here to the SD card. In other apps, I found that you can use the example that it gives there of forward slash SD card. But uh, in this particular one, I need to put in the full path, otherwise it doesn't set access permissions correctly. Um, now, in this case, it's forward slash mnt for mount forward slash sd card uh, make sure you leave the uh, preceding forward slash on there otherwise uh, you'll get errors later and the last thing I'm going to, uh, to tick here is keep phone awake and that's just to prevent the phone from going to sleep and disconnecting me from the, uh, the network when I'm transferring files at which point we'll save it which brings you to the last screen. You can either go back to setup or as we're wanting to do now, hit the start button to start the server. Um, you'll see that a Wi-Fi URL has appeared here. Uh, you'll need to take note of that because we're now going to go over to the PC and link the two together. Right, so I'm now on my computer and the first thing we need to do is go to the start menu and select computer, which will just bring up the usual overview of your local drives. Now here in the uh, empty space at the bottom, all we need to do is right click and select Add Network Location, which will bring up the Add Network Location wizard. Select Next. Just make sure that Choose a Custom Network Location is highlighted. Press Next again. Uh, it's now asking for a network address. Uh, you might want to pause the video at this moment. What you've got to do is take the uh, Wi-Fi URL that is showing on your phone and enter it in exactly as it shows on the phone in here. I've already done that. So once you've got that uh, typed in exactly as it's shown on the phone, you press next. Uh, here it's asking you for a username, so we need to untick log on anonymously and enter the username that you uh, used on the phone, which in my case was Bugsy. Once you've done that, you press next again. And here it's asking for a name for this location. This is just a name for the uh, the phone itself, so I'm going to call it HTC Sensation. Hit next. And uh, just for the tutorial, I'm going to untick um, the option to open the folder when we're done. And then hit finish. 
and what you'll see is your phone has now appeared here and as long as the FTP server is running on your phone you'll be able to double click on this and open it up. The first time you open it though, if we just do that now, it's going to bring up this prompt here asking you to enter your password. The uh, username is already filled in from what we uh, entered before so just put in your password here which I entered exactly the same as the username and I'm going to save the password and hit log on and there you go this is the uh, contents of the micro SD card on my phone uh, here's the folder that my photos are stored in when I take a picture with the camera and that lets you quickly copy the files and folders uh, off of the phone um, one thing you could do if I just go back to the computer so let's say uh, something that you frequently want to do is to copy photos that you've just taken off the phone. What you could do is double click on here and go into this folder here which is where your f uh, photos are stored and using the right mouse button I'll just right drag this folder to my desktop and select create shortcut here and uh, I'll give it a name call it HTC pics and then if I close this window down as long as the FTP server is running on my phone, I can just double click here and get direct access to the folder with all, uh, all of my photos on it, which I can then select and copy over onto my desktop or into a proper folder on the computer. But as you can see, they're then on the, uh, directly on my computer itself. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'll just go back to the phone now to show you uh, quickly how to finish off there. Alright, so we've now got the phone and the computer linked up and I can copy files off the SD card over the network but that does still leave the question of what do we do about this FTP server which as you can see up here is still running in the background on my phone so I'm just going to pull the notification bar down here you can see that it's running in the background and you could simply open it, hit stop and then uh, simply relaunch the app when you uh, want to start the server again. But uh, you might remember at the start of the video I mentioned a home screen widget which is the reason why I chose this program. So if I just hold my finger on the home screen here, go to my widgets and scroll down and see here a wireless file transfer widget. And if I add that to the home screen I can simply tap on it to launch the server tap on it again to disable it. So if I want to quickly transfer a couple of uh, files or folders, photos, whatever, onto my computer, I can tap on here to launch the server, copy the files, and tap again to disable it. Uh, that's pretty much it really. Um, I can foresee one or two people having trouble with firewalls and things like that, so over the next couple of days I'll add some uh, details to the description box below. That will hopefully address some of the major issues that people might have. Otherwise, if I haven't covered it, feel free to post a comment on the video and uh, I'll try and get back to you with an answer if I've got one. Okie dokie, good luck and uh, until next time.